I bought one of the very first models um, back in December. Um, I got it like mid-December, I believe, and I just barely purchased a new one um, nine months later. Uh, so let's see, what differences do we have between the two? Uh, first off, you can notice that there's um, the anodization is a little different. Um, it's reflective versus matte. The new one is matte. Um, the the Hexbright text actually is uh, less raised, uh, presumably because it, um, of the matte finish as well. But yeah, uh, there's also a difference with the the lens. Um, if we take a look, we can raise this up, and we'll see. Observe the divot on the left, and it's basically it's a lot larger than the one on the right. Um, the the update seems to have a smaller focus point, so that's interesting. Um, let's see what else. All oh, right, so here are the electronics of the Gen One, uh, the first one that I they purchased. The anodization is also different. I actually, when I purchased another black, I thought, well, I might have to do something with some electrical tape or something to distinguish them. It's very, very obvious. Um, so here's the board, what it looks like. Um, um, seems to be fine. I guess I'm just used to this one. But if we look at the new one, uh, right here, we, we immediately notice that there's this entire section that has been closed off. Um, I'll, I'll be going into, well, I'll take off the board and uh, take a closer look at it later. Um, so there have definitely been some some updates to the carrier, though they seem to be perfectly compatible as far as the board. If you had a replacement board, um, oh yeah, when you open and close this, there's a bit of a chirp, presumably because of the anodization. Um, let's see how tight is that. That's plenty. Um, now let's see. I'll pop this back in as well. No chirp, you know. Look at the the difference in the lights. So on the right hand side we still have the well we have the the update, and on the left hand side we have the newer, uh, excuse me, the original. Um, if we come in close, um, there's a bit of a there is a bit of a clover pattern on both of them actually. As we back up, it fades. I'm I mean around six inches you don't really notice much. Um, come in and well anyway, let's see. Oh, other differences. Uh, the the right the newer one actually has kind of an a square shape as opposed to the left, which is much more circular. Uh, the the right one is also or the the update is also uh, it has a stronger point in the center. If we back up, um, you may notice uh, I'm the same distance. The the right spot is more focused, and also interestingly, you have this bit of a square. You see that, um, which is interesting. Um, I think, let's see, here's the left only, rotating it, I'm rotating it, and it's like not changing too much. The right, rotating it, and you see that square as it goes around. I think both of these could still be changed or fixed by the, uh, the lens being a little closer still to the, um, to the LED, but it's okay. Um, it's just a difference that is interesting. Um, anything else for this? Uh, the colors are actually a little different. I don't think we can tell very well. I'll let's see. Increase them. That's gonna. So there's full brightness and back down to minimum brightness. Full brightness right there. Um, yeah, there is a slight difference in color. Um, it's either from well, it's probably not from the binning. It's probably um, from the uh, well. I'd guess that the right one is driving it at a slightly different voltage. The update has a slight, di slightly different voltage. It seems to actually be a little bit brighter, but I'm not sure how much of that is the the temperature, uh, the um, the color of the LED. So yeah. So here they are disassembled. This is the older version. Um, now, there there are a few things to notice over here before we go to the other one. Take a look at that. That's the clock right there. Um, it's definitely been updated on the newer one. Um, there have been a few positional changes. Um, 
like observe the spacing by the switch, um, which has changed. But other than that, everything, I mean, there, there are minor spacing differences, but it seems to be the same throughout. Over here, if we look, we'll notice that the, uh, the clock is actually completely different. Um, uh, I'll upload some photos that have better resolution and spacing is different around the switch. Um, I don't, I mean, it's just like little minor updates, um, and it's just interesting. Um, oh, one important thing, when I was taking out the, uh, uh, taking these apart, the, the battery carrier on the newer one was extremely stiff. I actually scraped off the, um, some of the plastic, um, as I was hitting it against the palm of my hand, trying to get it to pop out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I remember that I had a difficult time with the first one, and it's gotten easier over time, but I did not damage it at all. Well, I mean, yeah, there was some very minor damage when I did it, but um, nothing like this one. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit tighter. I'm not sure if the internal dimensions have changed slightly, or uh, maybe the shim is a little little different. I haven't really checked that out, but it's very uh, definitely worth not noting. So here are the tail caps. Uh, once again, the newer is on the right-hand side. It is more translucent, um, but it's, I mean, pretty much the same. Um, there, are, There's a little bit of junk on it. I wonder if that's from the reduction processor or how that's done, but it may rub off, it may not, I'm not sure. Um, one other thing is I, I actually went to unscrew it, and yeah, Christian has definitely been using that thread locker, or it's cranked on really, really tight, so, well, uh, yeah, that's about all I've noticed there.